Welcome back. The first step is to check the Northwind services and we are going to add a destination in our cloud platform for this Northwind services and we are going to access it over internet. So let's spend few seconds understanding Northwind. Now this is already a very popular OData APIs which developers can use to learn or experiment with. But if you are new to Northwind, then I will spend few seconds just to explain what is this Northwind and what are different types of data which you can access with it. So to go into Northwind, you have to go to services.data.org v2 Northwind, northwind.svc. So this is the URL. And uh, as you can see from the v2, which means version 2 of the OData. And you can see a lot of collections. Now there is employee collection, order collection, shipper, products, region, territories, suppliers, a lot of data you can get. And let me try to see products and um, I'm going to just add products here and uh, if I go inside the products you can see a lot of data of product so these are all xml based data and uh, let me try to format it question marks dollar format equal to json so I'm going to see json array and these are all product now i can also get a specific particular product if i try to pass the id of that particular product and uh, should be products and id and here i can also see the particular products and also i can do navigation from the product to supplier to order details or category so bunch of things i can do but for now our scope is to add this as a destination in our sap cloud platform and um, Northwind is one of such example which is the first thing which you can try with to see if setups are working or not and this is quite popular APIs as well for you to start learning or to experiment with. Okay now let's head over to our SAP cloud platform and uh, I will enter my trial account and uh, I'm going to go into the sub account trial and here in the left hand side I will see destinations and uh, there is no destination yet i can import a destination or i can create a new destination so let me try to create a new destination so here i'm going to call it nwd short for northwind so if you want to call it northwind then that is also okay but then you have to stick with that name so i'm just calling it nwd and uh, in the description northwind data or o data and the url i will take the entire url till services and till here and uh, remove the backslash from the end and now the properties so the first property which i will add is uh, web id usage and uh, what kind of use does this destination will have so i'm going to use it for o data underscore gen so odata generation purpose so that is the only one thing which i will use this destination for then uh, i can or i have to write web id system and i will give the same name nwd here and then um, i will have uh, web id additional data i'm going to just write full url here and uh, this is web id enabled which is true and uh, i can also have html 5 dot dynamic destination so i'm just going to copy this html5 dynamic destination because i don't want any kind of mistakes in the typo so just this dynamic destination and i'm calling it to be true okay and uh, this will not have any authentication over the internet we are going to access it let's save it and check the connection and it is saying 307 temporary redirect that is okay so let's review what we have done nwd is the name what we have used here as well the usage is uh, odata generation and web id enable is true web id addition is for url and html dynamic destination is true this need to be little different because it is uh, a typo here so we need to have true so html dynamic destination is true and then uh, the name is nwd type is http not win data is a description you can have any name here in the description and then url is uh, the not win url internet is the proxy authentication we don't need so no authentication and let's go do the check property and here we are getting a redirect and uh, when we get the redirect we are still able to connect to that particular url so that is correct 
And what we need to do here in the bass is refresh the bass editor. So we are sure that the new destination, the bass is able to pick it up. So that is the reason. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for file new project from template. Now, sometime you will not be able to see file new project from template because uh, the libraries are loading and uh, it will pick it up the project or the workspace settings. So if you go to the find command, then you can say create project and here you can see sap business application studio create project from template so that will be same so either you can go from file or you can go from find command that is going to be same 